Hello everyone, I'm Ani Avedisian, the suburban shaman with a cosmic point of view, and this is Water Wisdom. In our world today, we're constantly bombarded by information, or should I say misinformation. So how do we tell what's true, what's woo, and what gets flushed down the loo? The wisdom of the water will enlighten us. Today's subject is fear. Fear, anxiety, and stress. What is that all about? It seems that every other day, somebody walks into my office and goes, Oh my God, Arnie, I'm so stressed. I have so much anxiety. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of everyone. I'm frozen. I'm paralyzed in fear. And I went to my doctor and he gave me all these drugs. What shall I do? Hmm. This is definitely something that we need to have a conversation about because I think we're in danger of becoming a nation or even a race of Zoloft controlled automatons. What are we all afraid of? The way I see it, fear, it was designed as a flight or fight response for physical beings on physical realms. Here's an example. Neanderthal man goes out hunting and gathering and he's out there doing his thing and all of a sudden he sees a rather large animal coming towards him. Is he afraid? I think what he has is a heightened state of awareness. And in this heightened state of awareness, he makes decisions pertinent to his survival. He decides to run like bloody hell in the other direction, run, run, run into his cave. And when he's safely back in his cave, he pants and he sweats and he breathes and breathes until his breathing and his whole system is regulated. And once he's calm and he's taken the emotion out of the event, he shares his story with all his friends. Now, physical fear, physical planet, physical response. Why are we all so afraid now of things that haven't happened? That's something we really need to address. Perhaps we're not anxious. Perhaps we're excited. Perhaps we're all terribly confused because we're all so entertained and distracted that we don't know what's clearly in front of us. Let's take a look at our mental health and let's start with this. Step number one. Don't be anxious about things that haven't yet happened. Thanks for listening everyone and remember, we didn't come down to burn and crash, we came down to make a splash. So get out there, have some fun and do something useful with your incarnation.